Hello, my name is Stefan. I'm from Tea Addicts, and our mission is to excite you for great and for real tea. And in this episode, we are talking about a special tea from northern Vietnam, a black tea named Etta. Etta is a black tea from Vietnam. I have uh, three grams. Put it into our new design teapot. <laughs> and I pour some hot water on it. This is um, 100, 100 degrees. I will have um, two minutes on the clock, starting now. And Etta is a special find from, from northern Vietnam. I was traveling um, uh, at the border to China. The, the area is called Ha Zang. It is a river valley, very high up in the mountain on a plateau. It, they have like 1,200 to 2,000 meters when you just follow up the waterfalls um, in, inside the, the valley. And inside the valley, you have um, lots of um, indigenous um, uh, tribal people. And you have um, uh, Zhao people there, and you have Hmong people there, and Bai Yu, and they're all living together in this, in this very, very nice um, valley. And they also have um, rice fields over there, and you can see animals of every kind running and thriving and chilling along those riverbed. And people, people, they catch fish in inside those rivers like the old way with spears and a lot of children playing. I didn't expect to find this tea over there. I was told that I go there, I will find Chinese style black teas because the main customers are Chinese people because it's very close to the border. And this tea comes from from old trees like Senyu Wild. It's not like a plantation. You don't have this 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 beautiful raw structure it's like people have some land and they know where some trees are and then they have a basket and they go inside and then you also have newer um, structures where you have like single bushes and most of them um, <coughs> um, most of them they, they stand like in, in small groups it's not like a real plantation um, so I would consider this uh, tea as a, as a semi-wild plugging. It's somehow cultivated, but it's not only cultivated. And uh, you definitely have, you don't have this picture of a very clean and nice um, raw structure. And actually this is how, how we or how I like it. And the bag is, sits here and the tea is here. I brewed it with, um, <coughs> with this uh, two minutes. I already can smell the, the characteristics I would say that uh, if you're looking for something special and just to for, for your own knowledge uh, how black tea also can be or not another dimension of taste uh, you should consider to, to, to have have a bag of, of 50 grams of this and um, this is a smell that um, which is really different from all the smells I had before and of course you have, you have the citrus aroma and in the Sri Lankan um, Ceylon tea, you have um, the small tea somewhere else, and you have several dimensions of, of, of black teas, of, of fragrances and aroma uh, um, <coughs> structures. And this is something totally different. This is something new, and I didn't expect that, so I had to buy this tea um, just for my own um, satisfaction. And this tea smells like, uh, like corn, and it has some some popcorn, caramel, this very defined chocolate cookie dough and sweetie, very pleasing smell. You also have this in this taste, the taste, the, the color is really, really nice. It's, it's bright. The tea is very fresh. It's um, plucked from this year, 2019 and starting dry season. So September. And um, it's really, really bright. It's golden, and you have some, some greenish, a little bit greenish reflexes uh, inside it. Clearness and the taste is it, it's sweet. It's caramel. You have this this cookie dough, um, this sweet chocolate aroma, and um, also in in the deepness, it's 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 uh, it's catching you. It's it's um, it's a tea that that sticks to you, and it's like wow, this is. This is something I, what I never had before, and um, and so everything what what's not like what you what you used to be you know, sticks somehow to you. So I would consider 
to buy this tea if you're looking for something special and you will definitely enjoy this tea with milk and sugar or with uh, Vietnamese condensed milk maybe. Thanks for watching and bye bye, see you soon.